नमस्ते वनकम स्वागत नमस्कार वंदनम वेरी वॉम वेलकम टू आवर विजय दशमी दशरा सत्संग ऑफ द ऋषिकल्चर गीतानंद योग फैमिली वर्ल्ड वाइड लेट अस बिगिन बाय इनवोकिंग द ग्रेट गुरु परंपरा ऑन दिस ऑस्पिशियस डे तत्परंपरमे ज्ञानलिंगेश्वर धीमह तो गु प्रचोदया ओ योग स्वामी गीतानंद गिरी गुरु महाराज की जय It's a very special day. It is a day that is very special for the Guru Shishya Parampara. It is a day when the Guru, the Shishya, can come together. They can come together, interacting with each other. for the sake of emerging knowledge manifestation of wisdom and growth at all levels of human existence the guru is not just telecom land future is not just the physical teacher the guru is the energy of the teachings itself the energy that enables the teachings to manifest the teachings to manifest as they are meant to we often think of the guru as someone in human form but the guru is not just in the human form the human form is only the vehicle for the transmission of the knowledge the human form is only the vehicle the human form is not the guru the guru is the spirit of the universe the guru is the spirit of the universe that manifests through that human form for the sake of the transmission of the teachings the guru tattva is the highest tattva the guru tattva that aspect of the universe which enables us to outshine our darkness you heard me right outshine our darkness not somebody else's darkness we have to outshine our own darkness we have to become the sun that when it rises in that suryodayam that our own darkness is dispelled and at that point the guru spirit the guru tattva lives on through us it is the moment where we become a vehicle for the guru to manifest through us the guru shishya parampara is not one of bondage but one of freedom it is based on trust it is based on value it is based on love it is based on respect and it is based on a symbiotic growth of both the guru and the shishya we often think that the guru is our savior nobody can save anybody nobody can save anybody if you have to save someone you have to save yourself nobody else the only person you can save is you because that is the scope of practice as a human being your scope of practice is you not somebody else that is the teaching of yoga it is experiential it is not experimental modern science experiments on somebody else on something else preferably something that can be put in a cage or in a box 
And then we say, our scientific research tells you, and you better listen to us. We are the new religion called science. Yoga says, the only experimentation is on yourself. You are the experimenter, you are the experimentee, you are the experiment itself. You are the experimenter, you are the experimentee, and you are the experiment itself because it's an experiential transformative process. That is why on Vijaya Dasami, Dasara, the 10th day, when the energy of Ma Durga, Jayade, 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 Ma Durga, that energy of Durga, Kadyayaniye Kanyakumari, Karangalil Sulatayendu Chamundi, Mahisha Sura. Maldini Ramya Kavadini Madhavam Purindu Madhavam Sodari Kadyayani. That beautiful energy of Madhulga, who after nine days of battling, it takes a long time, okay? Getting through that thick buffalo skin is very difficult. Mahisha Sura takes on the buffalo form. Why he takes on the buffalo form? We are the buffaloes. We are those thick skinned buffaloes in our ignorance who are refusing to let the inner light flow through us. We have to become thin skinned or basically no skinned. We have to outgrow even our own skin. You have to outgrow yourself so that you are pure light. You are that pure Jyoti. Arupam tata jyoti rakara katvat tadeko vashishta shiva kevaloham says Adi Shankara in the Tasa Sloki. That pure light, that jyoti, that is what we are going towards. I wanted to introduce you today to this beautiful tradition of Rishi culture Ashtanga Yoga. And I'm so happy that so many members of my dearest yoga family from around the world have come together in this e satsanga for vijaya dasami the first ever e satsanga for vijaya dasami we have done of the rishi culture ashtanga yoga parampara and you are part of that first cohort you are part of that first team who have been there an auspicious day for that to happen i wanted to share with you the concept of this tradition. And in this tradition, we have the beautiful teachings that Swamiji has given us. And those teachings have come through the union of two living traditions. The two traditions, the living traditions that we are talking about are the Bengali, Vama Marga, sorry, Dakshina Marga Tantra. Everybody was hoping I'll say Vama Marga and your anticipation made me say it, I think. Huh? Vama Marga is all that stuff that people are running around for, wanting Tantra for. Okay. We are the Dakshina Marga Tantra. I hope you can see the screen. Can you see a screen there? Yes. So we have the North Indian Vigu Tantric lineage that goes all the way back to Vigu Rishi, one of the Sapta Rishis, the seven great seers, who is said to have lived 6,666 years. Now you say, you mean it was 66 and 66. Because we cannot believe that somebody could live like that. That is what those people were. When we talk about the Mahabharata and we talk about the young people there, they were already in the 80s. The older people like Bhishma and all were close to 200 at least and were battling on the battlefield. That was the type of humans they made in those days. Nowadays, the humans after 20 start to degenerate. We go into degeneration after 20. And this great line going back to Bhrigu, then sort of meta cognitively came together. 
It came together with the higher thought through Sri Swami Purnananda Bhrigu, from him Swami Vividishananda Bhrigu, Sri Swami Kanakananda Bhrigu, and then finally to Swamiji himself, who before he came to Kamli Swami Madam, had the name as Swami Gitananda Bhrigu also. The Bhrigu lineage, the Saptarishi lineage going all the way back to the Maharishi Bhrigu. On the other hand, when Swamiji came into the Kamli Swami Parampara, he became part of a tradition that goes all the way back to another Rishi, Agastya. Agastya is the dwarf Rishi. He is a very short guy, but very powerful with a bad temper. Huh? Short, a bit like me. And I'm getting to that temper, so watch out. Huh? Agastya comes from the north across the Vindalayas so that they cannot grow anymore. He comes to balance. Shiva and Parvati getting married in the Kailas. The earth was getting imbalanced. They said, we have to balance it. Send Agastya down to the south and he'll balance it. One person compared to all the invitees at the celestial wedding. Imagine the power of that guy. What type of rishi he was. At Pondicherry, he drank up the ocean so that the devas could destroy the asuras. Even we continue to celebrate it as Masi Maham. There is documented evidence that Agastya definitely came to Pondicherry. And Swamiji believed that Agastya lived at the Kamli Swami Madam area. Of course, in those days, it was not Kamli Swami Madam, but in that same area, Agastya lived. Aravindo Ashram is said to also have that idea that Agastya lived where the ashram exists now. So definitely he wandered around Pondicherry. These guys were wandering around the world. He, uh, definitely he saw a lot of Pondicherry. This tradition of Saiva Siddhanta, a Shaivite tradition of Lord Shiva, it comes down and Sri Arunanatha Giri, who is said to have lived 1,005 years, followed by Kambli Swamigal, the primary guru of this tradition, 150 years ago, left the body at the age of 504 in Jala Samadhi, he left the body under the water. He used to go underwater and stay underwater for hours and hours on end. And one day it didn't come up and they realized he had taken Samadhi underwater. It is called Jala Samadhi. He was put in the Samadhi by Ambalavana Swamigal and Srimati Subhamal. The madam has always had a dynamic woman power. Subhamal was the very prime disciple of Kamli Swami. Though she was not part of the lineage of the gurus, she was responsible for the creation of the madam. And similarly, later on, Ammaji, the living Siddha of Pondicherry, she has with her energy maintained that and sustained the ashram and the madam through her dynamic energies. Ambalavana Swami was followed by Manika Swami, Shanmuga Swami, Velu Swami, Subramanya Swami. And it was in the time of Subramanya Swami that Swamiji, our Swamiji Gitananda Giri in touch with the madam. He was at that time having the ashram in Lost Pit, used to visit the madam for the different pujas. And when Subramanya Swamigal passed away, attained Maha Samadhi, Shankara Giri Swamigal took over. And Shankara Giri Swamigal requested Swami Gitananda Giri to become the eighth Madadapati in charge of that madam. And thus he came into this Giri order from that time and became Swami Gitananda Giri. Swamiji has brought together these two traditions. He has brought together these two traditions, the energies that have come together, that are bringing the tantric energy-based techniques. That is why all the teachings of this tradition, doesn't matter whether it is the jatis, the kriyas, the asanas, the pranayamas, the mudras, the bandhas, it doesn't matter what it is, they are energy-based. And this is the tantric energy. There is no practice we do in this tradition that doesn't have an energy reason to it. Doesn't matter. If you lift your hand, there'll be an energy reason. If you scratch your nose, there'll be an energy reason. Otherwise, we will not scratch our nose. Everything has an energy reason to it. And similarly, the connection with the 
Shaivite tradition, Swamiji loved Shiva. Om Namah Shivaya, Om Namah Shivaya was the constant refrain. And he attained the Samadhi on the Maha, Ayudhya Darshan also. Whenever Swamiji liked something, he didn't say good, very good. Sabash, Besh. He said, Shiva, 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 Shiva. And he must have said, I don't know how many billions of Shivas in his lifetime that Ayudhya Darshan was the auspicious occasion for his Maha Samadhi. Ammaji has continued to guide us on this path. Amaji has been the energy of this tradition. And after Swamiji attained Maha Samadhi in 1993 on December 29th, Amaji has carried on her strong shoulders this tradition. She has been a mother, a divine mother to so many around the world. I told her, I said, you're not just my mother, you're a mother to thousands of people around the world. Hmm? Not just me. And has given me space to grow. It is her benevolence that has given me the space to grow into the role I need to play. She didn't say, no, 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 I'm going to be the big guru. I'm going to be the person you sit on the sidelines and wait till your turn comes. Right after Swamiji's Maha Samadhi, she said, no, you have to get moving, you have to take it forward, and I'm there with you. And for the past 27 years, one full cycle. That is what scares me, it's one full cycle. She has guided with love, with power, with motivation, with grace. When I look at so many modern yoga traditions, what I find is that many of the leaders don't give space for the next generation to grow. I've seen a lot of this. They want to hog all the limelight till the last breath. And then suddenly the tradition is floating without any idea what to do next. Ammaji wanted to make sure this continues. And that is why Today, she has given me the space to manifest what I need to manifest with her and Swamiji's grace. I would like to invite Divya Priya. You all know this little girl, now becoming a young woman, who is taking on Amma's role in poking me into doing what I need to do. This morning, she was like, you have to do this. You have to do that. I'm like, you know, I, I thought, I thought, you know, I didn't have to face that anymore. And now I have someone telling me what to do all the time. Just like Ammaji used to. Huh? You have to do this. This is what you do. I'm like, yes. That is why Soundarajan was so right when he said, Junior Ammaji. Huh? She is, she is really junior Ammaji in that, pushing me on to what I need to do. And what has she done? She has created opportunities for the global family to come together. She has created opportunities for the global family to come together. And in the coming together of the global family, she has created opportunities for everyone to know everyone else. And through the Global Voices, and now recently through the Navaratri Kala Yajna, she has brought the family so much closer. So I would like to request Divya to, at this time, sing the Ananda Gurunatha Ramana, which is the song we sing in praise of the Guru Parampara, of the Vrigu Rishi, the Kanakananda Swami, Guru Parampara, so over to you, uh, Divya. Yes. Uh, namaste, everyone, and happy Vijay Dasnami to everyone. I'm really happy to see all of you. And it's nice to see all your lovely faces. And as Dr. Sir says, gratitude is the highest attitude. And I can see that in all of your faces. 
So just if I can contribute something by singing Ananda Gurunatha and through this song we invoke all the divine gurus of our tradition, especially the Bengali Tantric uh, tradition. So I'll be starting. Oh. Ananda. Thank you so much, uh, Debia, for invoking the Guru Parampara. Uh, much appreciated that they all get to hear you intonate this song that was uh, very, very close to Swamiji's heart. I think one of, one of the songs that must have been closest to his heart was the invoking of his gurus. And I think that, that that is just so important, so important for all of us. I would like to, at this time before I go, or rather maybe I will add on the other invocation and then I'll come to the rest of you. We said that there is the Bhrigu Rishi Parampara, the Bhrigu Vamsa, which is the 
concept of Vigu and his descendants who have enabled us to manifest these teachings. But then we also have the Kambli Swami Parampara, for which we have the Kambli Swami Stuti. And the Kambli Swami Stuti is again at least 100 years old in Tamil and praising and worshipping the great of the gurus of this especially Kambli Swami. So I'll invoke that at this time uh, so that we can also balance both the paramparas that have come together in the teachings of our illustrious Guru Swami Gita Nanda Giri. Om Arumarga Lodariya Or Brahma Maya Magi Ashtanga Yoga Bhumika Sagi Ennin Bhavala Magi Ulagala Manjali Sai Deva Magi Yuhumai Perunyana Vasariya Padiva Mai Yuvadi Vilanayala Vandindana Sadhananda Vamudana Kiliyani Enna Kaima Rupuri Vain Karuna Yen Kadal Madai Tiranda Prabhagami Karudu Bear in Barasami Karupini Yurika Barunyana Sanjeevi Yem Gadi Uda Budeva Darube Tirumagal Vilangu Satadamala Kaya Vavi Tegar Pudu by Bella Varivar Chitpara Sugo the Yavilasem Shri Kambalinyana Chinmayan and Swarupa Guru Be in this uh, hymn, Kamli Swamigal is uh, praised as the king of the world of Ashtanga Yoga. Now, this is more than 100 years ago, giving us the teaching that such a connection is there, such a deep connection is there between the teachings of Maharishi Patanjali and the teachings that we have coming through Swamiji and the Parampara. I would like to give a few minutes for different members to say a few words on the occasion. And I would like to start off with Shobana, from the Czech Republic. And just a few words from a different people. And if anybody wants to either say something or ask a question, you can always put up your hands and then I look at the chat box also. So we'll start off with Shobana, requesting you to unmute and start off with a few verses or whatever you feel to say. Namaste to everyone. It's a really great honor that uh, we can meet her here in such a unique occasion on uh, um, Jaya on Dasami, Dasami today. Mm. To hear you makes me speechless <laughs> every time. And when you just uh, call me to say a few words, then I have to come down to some other loka to just uh, find some words to express, which is uh, very difficult to express. And uh, I'm just uh, feeling that uh, it's a great honor in my life that uh, in this uh, difficult, I could say difficult era of uh, Kali Yuga, my soul was able to come to Gita Nanda Yoga tradition. There were so many possible ways I could end it up. And uh, the blessings and uh, I don't know how to express it's just uh, for me it's a miracle that all of us as we are here, we got that blessings to come 
to the divine living tradition, which uh, help us to grow and evolve, involve in uh, whatever the best we should be in this lifetime. And uh, this is just a beautiful grace and uh, divine gift to all of us. And uh, I came to Ananda Ashram in 2006. It's already 14 years. And uh, under the divine guidance of this is Amaji and Dr. Sir. I was able to get through so many, so many inner obstacles, not outer, but inner obstacles with uh, such a uh, love and care. And nobody point on me and show my ego. It was just such a beautiful divine guidance that even my ego was very happy to walk the path. And this only I could experience with Amaji and uh, now uh, Guru Gita Anandaji in our Dr. Anandaji. So I'm very grateful to be part of this amazing paramparai and I do my best to hold on till my last breath. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, uh, dear Shobana. Uh, it's, it's just so, so beautiful to hear you express uh, thoughts. Uh, it is it is uh, very heartening when life can be changed into such a beautiful way. And I think I should ask uh, Radu and Aishwarya to say a few words because uh, they have also been part of this family so long that it was very, very important. Well, um, I'll make it very quick. <laughs> My time is a little limited this morning. Um, just wanted to say that for me, <clears throat> um, I, I echo what Shobana said. I also went here and there and could have ended up anywhere. <laughs> and I'm glad I didn't. Uh, and I think uh, to me, I've, I've always been much more skeptical and much more experiential. And to me, really the proof is always in the pudding. And uh, this is why when I met Amaji, I, I really felt what she said about Swamiji, that here was someone who knew something I didn't know. Uh, and that happened the very first time. And the same thing is happening now. And especially when Dr. Ananda came to Canada twice now. And it's just, I think when I've never really met anybody who can just transfer such bursts of Anandam. So really just there's just a presence there that is, it just is. <clears throat> and everybody, anybody who's, who's met him also feels that. And I think, uh, and even if we're not aware that we feel it, we definitely feel something or we feel some confusion. And so I think it's just, <laughs> it's just a presence that is there and that is very strong and that is very beautiful and it's very rare. And so I'm very thankful to have had the opportunity and um, the blessing really to, to be in contact with this. I, I like the fact that I induce confusion. Because <laughs> it is from confusion that fusion occurs. You first have to be confused and then from that chaos comes sense. So sense can only come out of chaos. And so you have confusion precedes fusion as said by my dear Dr. John Mumford. So I think if that happens, it is still a good effect. <clears throat> Namaste. Um, 
Now make a superhuman effort not to cry. <laughs> um, I think uh, there are so many things to say and I'll, I'll try to keep it concise. Um, I think um, I remember the first day that I met Amaji. I guess the story started earlier when um, my father studied with Swamiji and Amaji and I always have a, a bit of a, <laughs> we're like, no, no, it was in 1970, 1971. Um, <clears throat> so I guess this, the story started a long time ago. And um, if my father gave me anything it's the biggest gift and the biggest blessing to have introduced me to Rishi culture Ashtanga yoga or Gitananda yoga um, and uh, my, bro my brother Srikant uh, studied under Amaji two years prior to me in 1997 he had the incredible blessing of meeting Renukaka which I haven't um, and then I came in 1999, um, and that's when I met Amaji, and Srikant had talked about Amaji. He came back completely transformed, and I was very curious to meet who is this Amaji. <laughs> um, and I think the thing that struck me the most is how down-to-earth and ordinary she was. Um, and the same way that Dr. Ananda, Guru Gita Ananda is, the same way that Divya is, the same way that Anandraj Anandra is, these are human beings just like us. And this is what makes them completely extraordinary because these are people who walk the walk, talk the talk, and when Swamiji says, you know, you, you say what you think, you do what you say, I, don't, I haven't met anybody else who does exactly that. And it's so hard to do. Um, and this is, <clears throat> I could go, you know, you've been there with Guru Gita Nanda in all his classes and everything that comes out, it's completely unthinkable. And I think I used to feel like, you know, why didn't I meet Swamiji? And who cares? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> he's there, Amaji's there. Um, and to see how <clears throat> Guru Kitananda is developing and Radu said it last time, but it's scary. And it's beautiful, just the, the, the rate, the pace at which he changes is just really mind blowing. And then to see Divya, <laughs> such a beautiful, pure human being who's so sincere, has incredible potential and is manifesting it the same way that the family, the, the Bhavanani family is, is, um, just very humbling to, to be able to witness this and to have this relationship with the Prampai is the biggest blessing in my life. And I hope to do it justice to always in, like Shobana says, until the last breath, honor to respect it and love it in the right way. So just a big thank you. Thank you so much, Aishwarya and Dalado, for those very beautiful uh, words. And those are not just words, they come from the heart. So they are, they are uh, seeds, they are bijas that then grow as we express them. I think one of the plus points of saying what you think and doing what you say is then you don't have to worry about what you thought or what you said or did because you know what it is. There's no confusion. Whereas everybody's getting confused because they don't know what they thought, what they said, and what no. they did. So it's much easier for life. I would like to invite uh, Shanmugam and Lalita. I uh, had asked them to unmute. I hope they've unmuted. Yes. Okay. I request you to say a few words for Vijay Dasami. Namaste, sir. Very nice to opportunity to attend this Vijay Dasami function. 
So and very nice to brief history about the Kambli Samay Madam. Everybody knows the story. Very thank you, sir. The same usually Amma Ji, which is the same time Amma Ji coming to city center. I really feel now the Amma Ji in city center. Let's see all the students. Now I feel it. So really, thank you. <laughs> at the same time, the Satsanga very nice. Satsanga you arranged it. The on uh, all the section through online section you did very nice, sir. Thank you very much. The same time very. Manakam sir. Manakam. Sir. Manakam. I told you many times, uh, Divya Pri also, we want to meet the Vijay Dasami day, we want to meet the Guru and we want to get um, Guru's blessing and Guru's um, what the blessings and good, nice um, blessings the board I want. So that's why I told it, we want to Guru Vandana in the online session, like that I told it. So thank you so much for your arranging this online session. It's very nice to hear about Amaji's experience. Everybody is telling, very happy. And this is very, 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 very special Guru Vandana in Viti Dasimide. Thank you, sir. And Divya also very nice songs. Like Guru Vandana songs, very nice. Thanks to Divya Priya. Thanks. Thank you very much. Thank you so much uh, to Mr. Shanmugam and Lalita Miss, uh, who are keeping the Yoga and Chili family together and moving forward in the way that I would like to request uh, Professor, our Dr. Rama Reddy Kari. He is our uh, star of the uh, CITER, one of the most eminent, uh, eminent uh, personalities in the field of psychiatry in uh, this part of the world. And sir is uh, taking up a PhD in yoga therapy with us. So welcoming you, sir, to say a few words on Vijay Dasami. Namaste, sir. Sashtanga pranams to my Guruji. Uh, I'm really so fortunate to have such a guru who has got disciples of uh, Aishwarya Madam Sat. Really, I have been uh, seeing the disciples who are so dedicated and uh, from across the globe and uh, the emotions they have got, how they are connected with you. Really, it is, uh, I, I have never seen such a guru and uh, chala relationship anywhere. Indeed, I have joined in yoga therapy course just to earn one more PhD and to gain some more knowledge. But here, I am getting a different type of experience. When I just looked at you, you were 20 years younger than me. And still, because you are my sir, I was calling you sir. And of course, giving a weightage to my age, you are calling me, of course, this way. But uh, after experiencing some uh, transactions with you, in the form of conversations, phone calls, or practically seeing you, really I see my Acharya and you. I, I have been initiated into Vaishnavism. In Vaishnavism, Guru is considered compared to a cow. Cow takes grass from all the forests and gives very delicious, nutritious milk. Similarly, you gather so much material from various corners and you give us palatable, digestible milk. And Guru is like a cloud. Cloud takes salt water from ocean, so much and all, and gives a delicious potable water to the people. Like that, Guru is a cloud and you are cloud-like. And also, cloud also gives, uh, if you take small pot, it gives small rain only. And if you take big vessel, it gives that much. And whatever material we require, you give it. We, we have to say it and you will give it. So uh, really we find uh, the connection between individuality and the universality in you, sir. We are very fortunate to have association with you. Namaste. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir. Uh, Dr. Rama Reddyji, he is one of the most eminent psychiatrists of this part of the world, has been honored with the highest award for a medical doctor for his work in society, the BC Roy Award. And yet, Reminds me again, the greater you are, the more humble you are. And his humility and his desire to learn, uh, taking up a PhD in yoga therapy. And he's, uh, because of COVID, had to change his topic. And the dynamism, he has become a, a superstar of CITER uh, student team. He's, to call him a student is difficult because he's already there. And such beautiful emotions and expressions, sir. Uh, Really honored to have your love, sir. It means a lot to me. I'd like to request uh, 
a bill very uh, Bharat to say a few words on this occasion. Um, bill or Barry, our Bharat has been uh, in, uh, initiated in uh, into the tradition and has been in his own way a guru to many. And again, uh, someone with such beautiful humility joining in so many sessions. I really appreciate having you with us, Bill. Over to you now. Thank you, Dr. Anandaji. It's, it's uh, very inspiring to witness the strengths of the teachings of the guru uh, alive and vibrant in this community, in these teachings and in these sharings. Uh, very inspiring. Uh, it's an honor to it's an honor to receive the uh, the, the, the extensive uh, services of, 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 of Dr. Anandaji uh, through uh, his his ongoing and uh, beautiful and wonderful uh, service to so many people, his responsiveness, his his sharing, and um, and I. I witnessed that in this entire community. And so it's an honor to, to receive and, uh, and uh, as has been said, uh, through our presence, uh, everyone uh, gives back and uh, shares in, in, in building this energy. Uh, and so I thank you. I thank you for this opportunity. Thank you so much, dear Bill. Um, Bill has been a wonderful teacher in his own right, someone who has been in the tradition of Namadeva Acharya and going the way back to Sant Keshavdas, who spent a beautiful time in 1993 with us in Pondicherry. And I remember Sant Keshavdas being with us for the first ever yoga festival by the government of Pondicherry. And so, you know, it is how these different traditions have come together. Uh, and it's, it's just beautiful. And I think uh, for this coming together, we must thank uh, Muggs, because Muggs is sort of the one who has brought so many uh, people into these teachings. And I think you all know automatically, I'm going to ask Muggs to say a few words because through her guru, Harry, and she was able to connect to the teachings of so many grand masters. And uh, the most marvelous book on the letters from the masters, that is a compilation of those uh, letters to uh, Harry from all these great yoga masters. I think so wonderful. Over to you, Muggs. Thank you, Dr. Nanda. Uh, it is truly an honor to study with you and uh, <clears throat> to receive all this information from all of your very dedicated disciples as well. And uh, it's just such a beautiful journey, reinforcing all the teachings that have been passed down through all of these lineages. And I love how you point out where things cross over, like Sant Keshavadas. I love that picture of Sant Keshavadas with your father and the... Um, um, Kachar. And so it is just truly wonderful, the, uh, the connections. And uh, the one thing I really love that is so beautiful studying in this lineage is the clarity. There is so much clarity whenever there's a question of how this is done or how that would be done. The, the clarity really gets us um, ahead on our journey. Um, by removing those question marks in our mind. So thank you very, very much. And uh, it's wonderful to bring um, so many, you know, students and teachers that I know um, to join with them on a very regular basis. And you have made that possible. So thank you. Thank you so much, uh, Muggs, for... Uh, those kind words, and I very deeply appreciate what Muggs has brought to the community through her efforts. 
And I think one of the best times I've had was at the Soya retreat a couple of years back at the South Okanagan Yoga Academy. And I tell you, it was a marvelous experience. Uh, and I'm sure that once COVID is done and dusted, we will have one more of those retreats because it's such beautiful people, such beautiful people. And I think that has been a big blessing in my life is to travel the world and meet all these beautiful people. And then now, because of the COVID, all the beautiful people, well, we are on, online together. So, you know, we still meet in a different way. And I think that is the most important lesson I have learned in this pandemic is don't forget you need human connection. You need human connection. As a human being, we need to be connected to each other in whatever form we can. We must be connected with each other. And as I say this, for the first time on Zoom, I have my dear Kathy Davis. I see you, Kathy, and I welcome you. And I'm going to ask you to unmute. And we are going to try to get you unmuted to say a few words to all of us. Kathy is one of the very senior members of our Gitananda family. And yes, and now you're getting spotlighted. Yes, Kathy. Namaste <laughs> and welcome to the Zoom room. Yes, we can see you and hear you. Namaste. Can you? Oh, well, I can only see yeah. you. Is that how it works? Okay. <laughs> oh, okay. If, you put it, if you put it on gallery view, you'll see the rest of Will I? the other 87, 86 people. Yes, oh, God, I don't know whether I want to see there that many people. Again. That's a bit frightening. <laughs> okay, fine. Namaste. Yeah. Can you, you just see look me? at me and that's uh -huh. yes yes look, yes i want I, anyway, anyway look i want to tell you something really important as this is such an auspicious day um 40 years ago on this day um alan and i and uh alice alice sushila traveled early morning to bombay and from then on after a couple of days, then we went to Madras. They were called those names then. Um, and we spent a couple of days at the Theosophical Society. And then uh, we went on to uh, Ananda Ashram. Um, this is a photo. Can you see? Who is this girl with this baby? Who is this man with this baby? And guess where they are? They're at Tatan Chivadi at the Madam. So that was us in um, 1980. So it's our anniversary today of traveling, making our first journey to India and to meeting Dr. Swami Gitananda. And as everyone else has said, although they didn't meet him, um, he changed our lives. So all of you people who are embarking on this course, with um, Ananda, all I can say is be very careful and make sure you know what you're doing because your life is not going to be the same again, ever. And even if you try to bump off and pretend to go back to the life you had before, there'll always be that niggling in the back of your mind as to am I doing the right thing? Um, who do I belong to? Who am I? Where should I be going? So if you are going to continue with this course, then all I can say is be careful. You're, on, you're steering your way. I'm 40 years on in it, um, but actually longer than that because my first teacher who was um, Nandini Devi, um, I went to her in 1976. So she'd just been with uh, Dr. Swami Gitananda in, um, uh, now where was it, Ananda? Um, it was in Spain, and I've forgotten the name of it. But then she it came back to Cornwall and she was teaching. Now or where was it? Yes. Say it again. Estopona or something? Estopona. Uh, oh, um, Estopona. Estopona. Estopona, yes. <laughs> yeah, that must have been fun. She was there a month, and then she came back and she was 
well, not quite my first yoga teacher, but one who really taught yoga in the way that um, I wanted to know. I understood that this, this path was something um, about the spirit, about the divine within us, not, not about um, being an expert at uh, Hatha Yoga, because that's so flippant, really, in comparison to what uh, Swami Gitananda wrote. And remember that when you read that, um, that wonderful book of his, the 52 uh, weeks, those lessons, he was connected to the Akash. When, when I sat at his feet, and he was teaching. This wasn't somebody who was teaching from the intellect. This was somebody who was teaching from the Akash. His connection was vibrant, energetic, um, always without notes. And that's what he maintained with us was that we couldn't take notes in his class. Um, so be wary of all this chatting on the chat thing at the bottom of my screen because it drives me nuts. Um, you should be listening to what's happening. You should be listening to your tutor. Um, and I learned this from Swamiji. So um, there's many things that are embedded within me. Um, one of them, I, I suppose, is my great uh, respect for the tradition of, um, of the Giri and the Brigu order, um, where we're embarking on something that's not just yoga. Yoga is um, a front for what's really happening here because this is Tantra and this is about energy. And when you begin to understand that, then, then your life takes a remarkable change. I can see you, Nanda, you've cut me off right in the flow. <laughs> <laughs> I can't hear a word you're saying. A very, very auspicious time to have all this wonderful energy coming through you, Kathy. Uh, it is wonderful that on Vijay Dasami, we get your first words on the uh, screen in Zoom. So thank you for being with us, Kathy. It means a lot. Namaste. Um, I would like to request uh, Dr. Meena to uh, say a few words and uh, just give me a, one minute while I... Uh, Check up what's happening. I think I'm having some issue here. Well, yes. So I request uh, Dr. Meena. Yes. Okay. For some reason, uh, I'll just continue while uh, Dr. Meena unmutes herself. Uh, yes, can you try to unmute? I think you should be able to now. Can you try again? Yes. No. I will I will send you a request again one second. I'm just sending you a request. Ask to unmute. It should come up and you should be able to click on it. Yes. Yes. Now it's now it's there. Yes, Dr. Mina. So, namaste all, pranams, and uh, you know, so wonderful to be listening to all those seniors. Um, I'm, you know, many times it is like I'm 
stuck uh, stuck with awe or awe stuck as you say uh, totally you know like uh, i am very very bad with my expressions very very limited with my vocabulary i keep telling sir and especially when i see uh, you know shobhana aishwarya uh, you know all of them are expressing so well uh, many many times it is like a baby that i feel in uh, this group and um, it's such a such a blessing and fortune to be a part of this wonderful uh, zoom boom a part of this uh, great great tradition uh like uh, kathy was saying i truly truly uh, you know like uh, so happy to see kathy today especially receive her few words uh during the vijay dasami day such a senior person of this tradition and um, like she was saying you know uh, be prepared when you come into this tradition because if you don't want to change please don't come into this if you just want to remain what you are don't come here that is kind of a warning uh, like you know when you enter the ashram if you are in peace please come in uh, that is the saying you know uh, that will be written over the door so if you want that please enter so like kathy says if you don't want to change uh, think twice before here because i don't know just by accident i should say like uh, by chance we got an invite uh, to attend one of the annual days of uh, yoganjali and uh, i got a real good chance to meet amma ji that day and she just gave me one word she said why don't you join yoga one look into my eye and she said why don't you join yoga that's it and my whole world has changed upside down uh, you it, it's truly upside down if you want to believe me it is truly upside down um because uh, more often than not you know in a woman's life there is a stage where there is a vacuum created and uh, you know once the children grow up they are independent and uh, you know like you have lot of time in your hands that you don't know what to do and you start thinking all rubbish and then you go down into a state of depression where i was and where i am i and what is happening now and you totally lose connection with yourself so it was at exactly at this juncture of my life that i had the good fortune to meet amma ji and uh, that was the day i think uh, i am truly destined with that you know like uh, Uh, but i had always been wanting this uh, very very strongly that i need to do something uh, something good for myself as well as for others if i have been you know by by correcting myself if i can reach out to a few people uh, who are in need that would be the best life that i would want and uh, coming into this tradition i am truly truly thankful one first to amma ji because what she has given me nothing verbally nothing expressed but whenever i have a confusion a conflict some kind of an inner doubt she has always been there morally giving me the answer to whatever i am seeking believe me i am not saying this just because i need to say something here it has i i am i'm just speaking my experience anything in my mind the next yoga life in the editorial uh, you know that amma ji writes or a message from her or a call suddenly out of the blue or some place you know i'll maybe bang her some place in town uh, you know like just right right in face and i'll be surprised like what is this real is this amma ji or am i dreaming you know it's kind of like that and it is always she is always been there in spirit wherever i uh, you know it was most important for me and that is how you know like things have been and then with ananda sir that's a big story but just to cut it short 
uh, when we were, you know, one theory session of Ananda sir, I was learning yoga as per Ammaji's words, attending sessions at Yoganjali Natyalayam. And there was a competition which was going to happen and uh, theory sessions were being taught by Ananda sir. And he had made a strict, strict uh, underlined bold italics saying that only people participating in the competition should attend that theory session. And I sort of gate crashed. I fought with, uh, you know, sir and said, no, I am going to be there. And I sat at the end of the room, uh, you know, like staring at him <laughs> in case he asks me to go out. I'm going to have a fight with him, argue with him. But believe me, that was an hour of theory session, which again, you know, uh, with Ammaji, my life, life became this. But with Sir, it became like totally upside down. Changed my whole view, my whole perception of what yoga is all about. That it is not just a few techniques that we do in the class on, uh, you know, spreading the mat. No, it is not just that. It is way, 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 way beyond that. And, uh, you know, like whatever teaching they are giving us, it is one by just observing us. Uh, I think Aishwarya was saying that both uh, Ammaji and the sir, they are, you know, they live what they teach. That is something uh, for all of us who have been observing them. It is kind of like, you know, we always say uh, medium, uh, you know, like the, the solutes pass from the medium of higher concentration to lower concentration. So it is, you know, when with, we are with them, automatically it has to come because we are at such level uh, of dilution that we have to have something from there. And only with that, you know, like more than the verbal teaching, this is what matters to us. By seeing them live, by just looking at them, by observing them, all that we gain, that is kind of the knowledge for us, the, the teaching for us, the wisdom that we gain is only uh, through that. And you know what, in the present days, it's kind of like you, you go one week, travel on a bullet cart, you, uh, you know, climb up mountains and, uh, you know, like do some hard kind of a travel. And up in that mountain hill, there is a cave and there is a dark room there and uh, uh, some rishi with a beard sitting there and we go there taking all these pains and you know like one moment he opens his eyes and you know gives a smile and everybody says yay i got my you know that moment of uh, vision into the guru's uh, uh, blessing uh, but this with amaji and sir it is happening every day you are living with them you are they are looking at them you know seeing them being with them every day but I don't understand why people have to do all this, travel so much. That is because, you know, it is so easy, easily coming into hand that people fail to sort of, you know, like give that due respect. Uh, that is something that I have always felt. Uh, so I'm very sorry if I've been harsh about it, but uh, I don't know how else to put it. Uh, something because people are down to earth do not take them for granted, but please, please, please value what they are. And, uh, you know, like we are all truly, truly fortunate to be part of this one, this session and part of, you know, like this lineage and uh, have that uh, blessing to learn from Sir and Amaji, who's a living, living, truly living Siddha is what Sir says. And uh, I know that she is this. So thank you so much and uh, thank you, sir. Thank you so much, uh, Dr. Meena, for those very beautiful words. And I think, I think the most important aspect is that, you know, we often have what we need right in front of us, but because we don't recognize it, we have to then search the whole world and then we come back to what is in front of us and we realize that is the very thing we needed in the first place. Uh, beautiful, beautiful thoughts. And I would like to ask uh, Sangeeta, because Sangeeta, again, is a very vital member of our Vitananda family. 
she's gone back to Italy from the USA and um, I think it's good for you, Sangeeta. Over to you. <laughs> Namaskaram, everybody. Thank you so much, sir. Um, Guruji, for this opportunity to be in Satsanga with you and with your family and all. Um, I'm not sure that if it's pleasant, but it's good, I guess. This Amaji always made the distinction between the pleasant and the good. Um, so, um, yes, um, I am not sure if I am connected or not because you all froze. Yes, okay, good. Okay. Yes, thank you. you so, um, yes, when I, I would say that um, currently, I'm just it's such a good occasion, this one, you know, the overcoming of the inner dull demon state and the thick skin, because it's just been coming to the surface for me quite a bit. And, you know, the changing of continents, the changing of professions and a big change in identity construction always brings up a lot of the karmic residue because it's just, you know, shuffling the waters of who we think we are always brings up a lot of stuff. So I have been swimming in a lot of mud <laughs> so, of my own making. And so, um, so it's such a blessing to be able to celebrate this today and, and to feel home. You know, one of the things that I felt immediately when I came to the ashram is the sense of familiarity. I just felt home with the family. I felt home with the teachers. I'm so happy to see all of my teachers here. <laughs> I haven't seen Kathy, Kathy, for like, I don't know, hi, Kathy. <laughs> I haven't seen Kathy in a long time. So um, yeah, so this feeling of being familiar, but also the, the terror. And I say this in a really good sense, but you know, that, that, that terror of, of the real, uh, the real teachings, you know, the, that um, magnificent love that you uh, are able to experience with true teachings. Um, that doesn't happen very often, but it's really, it's terrifying, you know, to be able to sustain the, um, the purity of these teachings. So I think, I think my identity is um, being reshuffled at this time, but it's just a uh, it's just marvelous to to connect again and to be um, be a conduit for the teachings. Um, so many people are um, looking forward to to just get a sense of comfort, just simply getting comfort and feeling this connection that Dr. Sir was talking about. That is so hard to get. So um, yes. Um, yeah, so I, I know everybody has said everything already, but I just um, yeah, I just, I just feel grateful, so, so grateful. And uh, I look forward to, to seeing what the next incarnation brings um, for me also as a teacher of these teachings. And of course, how I can give back to the Paramparai in many more books, <laughs> many more books. <laughs> so um, yeah, I'm not sure about this connection, but I hope, I hope it's clear. So thank you so much, sir. Thank you so much. Everyone. It's, it's clear and uh, we were able to get your hands. So that was, it was really beautiful to hear you, Sangeeta, and uh, definitely you were clear. I think <laughs> on my end, I'm having some issues with the connection, but uh, your, your side is definitely clear. Today we have with us, I hope you can all hear me. Yes? Okay. Uh, we have with us one of my very, very dear friends, and uh, that is my dear Kaustub Eshiketal. I'm just trying to locate where he is. I was just having a conversation with him. And I would like to request uh, Kaustub, 
to uh, join us and give a few of his blessings for this community on this auspicious day of Vijay Dasami. A very special day. So inviting Kostub Deshikacha with us. It's going to see. Yes. Just one second. Yes. Perfect. Namaste, Kausto. Very special to have you with us. And this is an additional bonus point for everybody who's logged into today's e Satsanga. Welcome, you, Kausto. Namaste, my dear Ananda. I was just a silent observer with uh, my video switched off, just ears open because I didn't want to intervene. But uh, as I think I got myself in trouble when I sent you that message that uh, my heart swells with the joy to see all the love and affection you are getting from your students and well-wishers from around the world. This is basically what makes me so happy because what I want to tell all your, all your students is that it's a time for all of you to support Ananda and his family now because of these challenging times. COVID is one thing, but Ananda and his family are not just going through the COVID challenge, but they're also going through the challenge of taking care of Ammaji now, when actually she has been the caretaker for the whole tradition for so long. So it's a very big responsibility. So I'm very, very happy in my heart to see the love and affection all of you have for uh, my dear Ananda. For me, Ananda is a, a brother uh, in yoga and um, for many reasons. Uh, one of them is that uh, I think uh, Ananda's tradition and uh, my tradition, we are one of the few traditions in this world that is actually a bit old and uh, that actually has some seriousness. <laughs> and that's why I'm always uh, pushing him to take care of the tradition and so on this auspicious Vijaya Dashami day, I have, I think, two or three requests to all of you students. The first one is, please join me in nudging him very gently to take the role of the guru, because he is now the guru, whether he likes it or not. He's resisting it a lot, but uh, we need your support to help him to become the guru. And that is basically what I heard his mother tell me after a meditation. And that's why I wrote a poem, which I think Ananda has shared on the Facebook. And uh, when I visited Ammaji the last week, I actually asked Divya to read it out to Ammaji and she approved. She did a thumbs up. So please, my dear friends, join me in giving him the encouragement because Ananda is irreplaceable for the tradition. He may be replaced in his other jobs in the university and other places, but he is irreplaceable in the tradition. And that is something that we all have to uh, take into consideration because like I've always been telling about Ammaji that she is a national treasure. Now Ananda is the national treasure or perhaps international treasure because now I see all of you are from all over the world. So he's an international treasure and we need to support him to go into that role. And he needs to take that role whether he likes it or not. So all the resistances must come. The second thing I want to <laughs> offer to you is that you are all so lucky to have Ananda as your teacher because he is somebody, one of the rare people I know in this world who knows how to give. <clears throat> he has difficulty in how to receive. And that is why the first thing I told you was he needs support. So please give him so that he knows how to receive because he doesn't know how to reach out and ask for help. And it is a very important thing that he needs to learn, which is how to receive as well, because he is the biggest giver I have seen uh, in this modern era. I've seen a few big givers. One of them is my father himself, but Ananda is just a big, big giver. And uh, I think uh, he needs to sometime learn to, to stop, step back and receive. and. I'm sure he will receive love from all of you because you're all giving it from your heart. So it's very, very uh, important thing. And so please uh, do that. And uh, I also want to take this opportunity to say that 
to ensure that the tradition is uh, continuing, I would really like uh, on, the, <clears throat> on this auspicious day to start teaching Divya and Anand Raj much more uh, organized in a, in a uh, serious way so that the tradition continues. This is very, very important. And I also want all of you not to just be students of Ananda wanting to learn, but also encouraging him to teach his daughter and son. And Divya is amazing. I've met her in the last weeks when I visited them and she's taking care of Amaji really well. Um, so she's got really, really great, great talent. And I think the tradition is in very good condition with all these wonderful children, Divya and Anandraj both are fantastic. And all of you students are fantastic. The love that you are giving to each other and the love that you are giving to Ananda. And I think a very good word that uh, Sangeeta used, Chao Sangeeta, is that sense of family uh, and familiarity. I think that is the most important thing. In today's times, what we have become is uh, robots. We have, be we have become pursuers of things we have become lovers of things, we have become accumulators of things, but we have disconnected from people, we have disconnected from each other. And that is one of the things that actually is the most important thing in life. And it's what I encourage with my students and I see this is what Ananda encourages in his students to build a sense of family and community. And that is what is the most important thing. Certificate is not important. Uh, a sticker from some of these organizations in the world is not important. Connection is important. And I really want you all to sustain this connection where you are all like the spokes of a wheel with uh, your Guru Gita Ananda, Ananda Maharishi as the hub. So Guru Gita Ananda, Ananda Maharishi, I hope you have not invited trouble for yourself by asking me to speak these few words, but I'm very proud to speak in this audience, even though I'm not technically a student of the tradition, but I certainly am a family of this tradition and I will always support this tradition. I, will, I told Ananda already, I will always support him. I will always support his children. I will support his wife, Devasena, who is the Guru Patni now and Amaji also, I will do my best to support her whatever I can. And all of you, eh, because you're also part of the family now and somehow I've invited myself into the party. <laughs> so thank you, dear friends. And uh, thank you, Ananda, for giving me the small space to speak. But as I said in the very beginning, my heart swelling with joy to see the amount of love you are getting, which is what is so important for you because I know what you're going through and you need all this love. And thank you all for giving him this love, my dear friends. Thank you so much, uh, dear Kausto, for that uh, very beautiful exchange of energy through the love you have expressed. More than the words, I think it is the connectivity, the heart-to-heart -heart connectivity that is so vital. And... Uh, over the so many years, I have received the love, the blessings from Kaustub's own father. And that has been a very important part of my life. For me, I have been with Kaustub for the last, now it's over 20 years, we know each other. And we have stood together, we have been together. We continue to be together. And, and that's why uh, I have more hair. Yeah, you know, what happens is I still have a bit more hair than you, but Maybe, you know, I will start losing it also as we go on, but I have a longer beard. And so it's the beard that counts. But Kaustub keeps shaving his head. That's why he doesn't have much hair. Anyway, we are trying to be serious here. You get both of us in the same place and all seriousness goes out the window because we believe that spirituality should be something which is anandam, not morose boredom. I think that is something where we really add together Kaustub. Of course, I mean, that's why you are called Ananda. We have to make everybody Ananda. Otherwise, we cannot enter your ashram because there is a big <laughs> ashram that says enter only if you are happy. So how can people enter if they are not happy? Anyway, one thing I wanted to say is actually, I was not really planning on this, uh, attending this uh, earlier this day because I, was, I had to do something else. But then I got this command from Divya saying, 
dear sir meeting at 4:30 please come i could not say no unfortunately so i'm here she 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 really knows how to get us to do the right thing that is that's part and parcel of her thing so thank you so much kaustav i really appreciate that exchange and we'll keep doing our best as we go on and go in yoga together um i would like to request devasena to say a few words at this point and i will just get the mic ready guru yes. patni namaste namaste <laughs> guru patni namaste so happy to see you my dear namaste. sister namaste how are namaste you namaste to everyone yes fine how are you how are you all looking great <laughs> on the great day very special and we have all the energies all the shaktis and of course um, amma ji she is like a swamiji shakti also and of course like in the navaratri we talk about the three shaktis uh, durga lakshmi saraswati priya shakti icha shakti jnana shakti all three of them in her and of course um, like in our durga she become sometime more than durga even to destroy my ego <laughs> so we had all the experience all the energies and uh, in her fully and of course like in bhagavad gita lord uh, lord krishna when he shows his uh, vishwarupa darshana to king arjuna he could in uh, uh, take that no he could in see that he wants to be like uh, as they born nara narayana always they were friends so they want to be like a uh, king arjuna and king lord krishna like that he wants to be with him like that so he don't want to when he sees his vishwarupa it was too much for him so he is asking uh, lord krishna to come back his as his like own mitra so just like that uh, we have seen amajis in a, all the form like the whole universe in her so all the energies in her so of course from swamiji exactly to her and of course now we have dr ananda and of course all your shaktis like we talk about the different different namas when you take for shakti even 100 and i mean 1008 names for devi uh, when you take the names the namas for lord shiva again 1008 names for vishnu also so the vishnu sahasra nama uh, 1008 names like that all of you like uh, different different energy in the different aspects of course we have our own uh, group like in the yoga in atalium even though now 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 because of the lockdown we have smaller group but still they are very really as all you sprinkle sparkle like uh, stars in the screen i can see you all just like that our uh, yoga in atalam also they are really like gems like uh, navaratri we talk about like that they are navaratnas we, of course they only help me today to put back the golus actually so we have our uh, again like uh, four pillars for that sir each side to work in the dance dramas in the dance uh, i mean and the annual day items like that the four pillars mainly krishnaveni you have seen her in the navaratri krishnaveni balasundari sisters and of course soumya and uh, vidya shankari sisters my own sisters daughters so all four of them of course we have kanimori reena reena and daya and balaji of course uh, can you i mean uh, we have the nine uh, navaratnas i can call them so we have all our uh, gems with them uh, to help us to sparkle not to go down so we have of course all of you also in the different part of the world of course so of course divya is there always with uh, as uh, dr kaustub ji said to pull and pook <laughs> pook she is all is very good <laughs> so she is always there to remind him and uh, give the reminding as amma ji says uh, remember to remember so she is there with him always for everything so she is coming and uh, uh, we feel most of the thing like uh, amma ji is in her so she is already making me also think 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 about that think lot of things you have to change a lot so already she started <laughs> so i thought after amma ji i'm going to have maybe a little bit with that service but still okay he is uh, adjusting but a uh, whole mountain is on 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 his head actually but she just started again so remain so remain your son do this think about that you have to change you have to do that this and that like that so 
reminding me it's uh, one way it started to think also so i uh, because everything going smooth no as i told in interview also amma ji didn't give any any work she was doing everything a single thing even she was taking care of everything including putting the water bottle in the bag to the kids when they are going to the school so that much you can just think that means so everything she was taking care of that everything so we now we are just uh, especially me i have to go back to the summer the group balancing so uh, so anyway so her energy still making us to move so of course we have our uh, dr sir in the form of amaji and swami ji so all of your energy in the different aspects it's already helping i hear many of you making like a padma or aishwarya get taking the class notes padma sorry if i didn't mention exactly so whatever i hear like divya herata he she can go in one page one class the notes just like that shobhana helping lot of course so whenever we say shobhana shrikant aishwarya kalavati uh, kathy all the names sangeeta all the senior teachers uh, deepika jnanade all the names then amma ji have more smile on her face whenever they are uh, telling about even yesterday they were reminding all of you shalini of course she was there last time were really taking the kids also uh, taking care of the kids plus going and uh, giving amma ji and uh, so really everyone everyone is uh, very very special i cannot really say even thank you that even not really exact word word i i don't have anything in the whatever i know the language and especially in english i don't know exactly even exactly so maybe in sanskrit maybe dhanyavadaha maybe more essence will give i don't know so thank you so much dhanyavadaha for everyone everyone of you on the special day to thank all of you thank you so much thank you so much devasena for that kind expression a very typical devasena expression that you got there and uh, we will conclude today's session with a song by divya and it's a song for swamiji so she's going to be here in her spot this is a spot for all her programs and i take on the technical support part whenever she is here to do that and we thought it's better we are in this spot in the fan of them we'll actually sing together I don't know now you are delicious Indu Natage Swami Gita Nanda Indu Natage Swami Gita Nanda Gurunathage Swami Gita Nanda Nin pugal paadid Nii yagul poni vay Gurunathage Swami Gita Nanda Nin pugal paadid Nii yagul poni vay Gurunathage அஷ்டாங்கோகத்தை உலகிற்கு உணர்த்தினார் சுவாமி கீதானந்த நின் புகழ் பாடிட நீயவள் புதிவார் சுவாமி கீதானந்த புதுவையிலே சிங்கமென்று திகழ்ந்தாய் புதுவையிலே நீ 
So with that beautiful voice of Divya, we'll bring today's meeting to a conclusion. And it's been very beautiful to have each and every one of you to be here with us. It is family, it is community. And this is a family that enables us to grow into the best version of who we can be. I think that is the greatest intent that is put forth by the Yoga Kudumbakam, the Vishwa Yoga Kudumbakam, which is the World Yoga Family. Om Loka Samastha Sukino Bhavantu Sarve Janaha Sukino Bhavantu Om Shantihi 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 Om Thank you very much for being with us and we'll be meeting again when we meet soon next and remember Divya has another conclusion day today in the evening uh, concluding her 10 days of amazing uh, it's actually 11 days it's become right uh, because we had the zero day also and uh, today you will have uh, a bit more discussion on the Guru and the Vijaya Dasami tonight as we bring it to a conclusion the Navaratri Kala Yajna. What a beautiful idea to bring us all together. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.